So, what's up mga Karanda? This is Kay Paris ng Siklis ng Pilipinan ng Pangasinan. For today's vlog, we will do about your power to increase your strength going to cycling. And that's one of the secret ng mga pro cyclists natin. Kaya kung nakikita nyo kasi silang nag-story, di ba, na nag-gym sila, um, that's one key for you to improve your endurance and your power in cycling. So, ano nga ba yung power? Power is the strength you need when you go to cycling and it's very um it's very important for you to have more power for you to um endure especially in uphill uphill ride so it's better for you to to try some of these exercises for you to increase your power and tara samahan niyo pa ako sa vlog ko today and syempre pag hindi ka pa na subscribe sa channel ko subscribe ka muna and don't forget to share support na rin god bless Bridal shower. <laughs> This is the pink guys. Nandito kami ngayon. One of the challenges in cyclists is during uphill ride. Mas tumataas kasi yung pressure and altitude. And syempre, tumataas din yung heart rate mo and yung pull ng gravity when you are in uphill riding. According to the study from the International Journal of Sports Physiology and Performance, there is the effects of increased muscle strength and muscle mass on endurance during cycling performance. And it is likely in the resistance training, kaya mas matotolerate yung endurance cycling and that you will benefit in power when you do performance training. Siyempre, bigyan ko kayo ng information about our anatomy. Yung leg muscles natin, it composed of the three big muscles natin, yung quadriceps, and then yung adductor muscles, and siyempre, yung muscles natin sa likod, which is on the right side. On the left portion, yung quadriceps natin is mainly for knee extension, and then yung nasa gitna po, yung adductors natin, mainly it moves um, the leg into the middle, and then siyempre po, yung hip muscles natin na nag extend ng ating hip. Hips, which includes the hamstrings and the glutes muscle. Yung hamstring muscle din pala is nag-flex ng knees natin. And yung most prominent na leg muscles natin, pag sinasabing batak tayo, is yung quadriceps muscles. Ito kasi yung mas nahuhubog pag nagbabike tayo. Kasi siya yung main na nagpapwersa pag pumapadyak tayo. And ito po yung main muscle group na kailangan nating strengthen for us to increase your power in cycling. So, yan guys. Andito tayo ngayon sa gym. Ang puti ng mukha ko. Yan. Powered by Black Mamba. So, tara. And start na natin yung exercise natin. Simple lang naman siya. Actually, I will be showing you just four exercises. And you can also do it at home. Basta, meron kayong mga gamit. So, tara. Mga karanda, dito ngayon ako sa gym. And tapakita ko sa inyo some of the exercises for you to increase your power and strength in cycling. And most of us knows that hindi lang puro dapat bike, pero dapat may karga yung muscles mo during cycling. And that is the power. So, when it comes to power, um, it is the strength in cycling. So, this will improve your um, power during climbing. So, ito yung mga exercise na ipapakita ko sa inyo guys. And tara! Of course, mga karonda, essential pa rin na mag-warm up tayo bago natin gawin yung mga exercises natin to increase our power para ma-avoid na rin yung fatigue or even the chances of injury. And also, we need to activate our lower leg muscles para naman maging prepared sila for higher load or higher intensity training. And of course, we need to do this for like 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, our first exercise would be the forward lunge. So, we will be using 10 pounds on both sides. So, 10 pounds to right and then 10 pounds then sa left side. Gradually, mag-increase ito as you increase the intensity also of the exercise. So, forward lunge as the same muscle na tinatarget nito ang lower half including the hamstring, quads, glutes and calf muscles. So as you do this, you need to extend your lower leg muscles para ma-feel mo yung stretch ng lower leg mo. Do this for 12 repetitions on both sides with 
3 sets. This is kinda easy guys kasi kung wala kang weights na pwedeng gamitin like this sa bahay nyo, pwede kang gumamit ng galon ng tubig or anything basta may weights. This is one of my favorite leg muscle workout for you to increase your power. It is the squat. So maganda na gumamit ka nitong bar na ito to maintain good posture and also to avoid back pain after the workout. Mga karonda, pag nag-workout pala tayo, huwag nating bilisan yung pag-workout. Kailangan ma-feel natin yung stretch and then yung power na ginagawa ng katawan mo. Siyempre, gradual increase lang tayo ng weights. Huwag nyo pong mamadaliin kasi mahirap pag ma-overfatig baka hindi ka makalakad the next day. Actually, ang concept nito is for your leg muscles to train for optimal strength and muscle growth. Kaya huwag na kayo magtaka kung medyo lumaki yung legs nyo dito kasi nga the more the increase of your muscle is the more din yung strength na naiipon mo. So, this trains your quads, glutes, and adductor muscles. Kaya kung nakikita nyo sa mga pro cyclists or mga insayado nating siklista dyan na malalaki yung upper leg nila kasi the more na nagtitrain sila or the more na nagkakaroon ng increase in exercise is lumalaki din yung muscle kasi the bigger the muscle, the bigger the strength. FYI mga karonda, iba-iba pala tayo ng muscle physique. Kaya yung ibang mga payat kagaya nila Jun Ray Navarra, malalakas din. And you can do this for 12 repetitions, 3 sets. So our next exercise would be the Bulgarian Split Squat. Super dali lang nito mga karonda kasi kailangan mo lang ng bench. And then syempre yung weights natin. So, kailangan mo lang ng backward lunge position, yung isang right leg mo or either yung left leg. Depende na lang kung anong unahin mo. And do a single leg squat which is 12 repetitions for 3 sets on each leg. Specifically, ni-strengthen niya yung muscles ng quadriceps natin, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. So, yung single leg exercise na to is for your core to force to work in an overdrive to maintain your balance. At times, nag-struggle din ako sa exercise na to kasi napapractice nga yung balance mo dito. And syempre, yung body weight mo, iisa lang kasi yung leg na nag-workout. So, na-stabilize yung ibang leg muscles mo and then the other leg is the one working out. This build your legs stronger and this allows you to put more tension on the leg muscles. Kasi the more tension we have means more muscle growth and it means that more strength. So, mas nag increase din yung power mo during cycling. So mga karanda, ito na yung last exercise natin which is very common yung leg press. So you can increase the weight and then you can do it in 12 repetitions for 3 sets. So yung ginagawa ko ngayon, um, simple leg press lang yan and kung nakikita nyo po, sira po yung leg press. What? Pero for the meantime, for the demonstration of the exercise, ganito lang po siya. So makikita nyo to very common sa mga gym equipments. So, kagaya rin siya ng squat, it primary targets yung quadriceps mo and of course your hamstring and the glutes muscle. So, actually first time kong mag-ride dito. Ride dito, indoor cycling. So, yan. First time kong mag-gym um, dito. And, yeah. Ano naman? Powered by Black Bamba. So, so guys, ayun lang po yung mga simple exercises natin for you to improve your power during cycling. And syempre, importante ito para sa atin para maging holistic yung approach natin. Hindi lang dapat tayo basta bike ng bike. And kung makikita nyo guys, kung talagang and, um, gusto nyo lumakas pa and magpalakas during your um, cycling, lalo na pag mga, pag mga uphill rides, kailangan nyo talaga yun. And yun guys, I hope na nakatulong to sa inyo and I hope na gawin nyo po to sa inyo, sa inyong mga tahanan. If you are not able to have an access to your gym, um, pwede naman ninyo gawin ito sa bahay nyo. So guys, thank you for watching my vlog. I hope to see you again my next vlog. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates ng videos ko. God bless!